Happy CPS families. We are so excited to share with you a read aloud. This week, first graders are learning how to determine the author's purpose or reason for writing the text. As you listen to this text, be thinking about why the author wrote it. During the story, we will also stop at times to ask and answer questions to enhance our understanding. After you finish listening to the story, first, we will share some questions with you for you to think and talk about. Then you will see a writing prompt. You can use this writing prompt to respond to the text. You can then share your written response with your teacher. Finally, you will see some project ideas for enrichment and ways to have fun interacting with books. Please enjoy Close to You by Kamiko Kajikawa. A special thank you to Macmillan Publishers in partnership with the Henry Holt Company for allowing us to share this text with you. Hello, friends. Today, I'm going to read a nonfiction text called Close to You, written by Kamoko Kajikawa, with permission to read from Macmillan Publishing in partnership with Henry Holt and Company. When I read a nonfiction book, I get my brain ready to think about new facts that I will learn. Lots of times there are photographs that I can use to help me learn too. In today's text, we will be learning ways that animals bond or care for each other. As we are reading, I want you to ask yourself, how do these animal parents and babies bond? I will stop at different points to notice ways that the animals care for each other. I might ask you a question about the animals you see too. Enjoy! Polar bears cuddle in a den of snow. Ducklings line up in a single row. Kangaroos nestle and go for a ride. Oh, I see something in the picture. The baby kangaroo is inside the mama kangaroo's pouch. This is one way that the baby and the mama kangaroo bond. Elephants walk closely side by side. Giraffes pucker up, sniff and lick. Dolphins whistle, clack, and click. Alligators lounge in a toothy grin. What animals have you learned about? How did that animal bond? I'm thinking that alligators are able to carry their babies in their mouth. This is how they care for them. This is how they bond. Manatees caress against wrinkly skin. Porcupines brush with a prickly nose. Emperor penguins balance on toes. The author is telling me another way that an animal bonds. The baby penguin sits on its mother or father's toes. Snow monkeys stare at a friendly face. Prairie dogs snuggle in a warm embrace. How do prairie dogs bond? Right! They have a warm embrace or a hug. Some people kiss, some rub noses, some give hugs, and some give roses. Everyone cares in a special way. How will you care for someone today? What are some ways that you care for your family?
The author wrote this book to help us know about ways that animals bond. What was your favorite animal that you learned about? Great job. I hope you like this book. Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed listening to this story. Listen as I read you some questions. You will have a few moments after each question to share your responses with someone near you. What animals did you learn about today? Which one was your favorite? Why did the author write this story? What are some of the ways you learned that animals bond and show care for one another? Now, Grab a piece of paper and a pencil. Think of an animal that the author did not write about in this book, like a lion, gorilla, or puppy. Write a sentence about how you think that animal bonds or shows care toward others. Draw a picture to illustrate your sentence. Here are some more ways to interact with this story at home. This text shows photographs of animals bonding and showing care toward one another. Ask an adult to go with you on a nature walk around your neighborhood. What animals do you see? Birds, rabbits, squirrels, chipmunks? Can you take a photograph of them bonding? Send the photo to your teacher. On the last page of this text, the author writes, some people kiss, some rub noses, some give hugs, and some give roses. Another way people can show love and care for one another is through homemade cards. Make someone you love a homemade card. Write about what you love about them and draw a picture of the two of you bonding. We hope you enjoyed listening to Close to You. See you again soon. Hello, first grade readers and writers. This week when you're working on phonics, you're going to be listening to an interesting sound that is the sound air. We're gonna to decode to words with this air sound and it's gonna be spelled a-I-R, just like the word air, E-A-R, or it can also spe be spelled A-R-E. So I want you to think about this sound, air. You may know some words that rhyme with that sound, air, but I'm going to show you today that they actually are spelled differently. If I think do the words bear and stare rhyme, they do rhyme, they have the same sound, but you will learn today they're not spelled the same. Before we dig into this error spelling pattern, I have some sound check activities that we're gonna do and they are gonna be rapid fire. So we're gonna go fast and we're gonna be listening to sounds and words. The first activity that we're gonna do is you're gonna hear an entire word but what I'm gonna do is change the middle sound, the vowel sound. So this middle sound is what is going to change. Let me give you an example because after the vowel changes, you're gonna tell me what word it has become. If this word was fun, say fun, change a uh to o. Oh. Phone is the word now. All right, this word is Hut, say hut, change a uh to a, ah. the word is hat, say cube, 
cube. Change U to A. Ab. What's the word? Cab. Say lick. Lick. Change I to I. Like. Good. If the word is pick, say pick. Change I to I. Pike. Excellent. It's a little tricky. You got to listen. If the word is slick, say slick. Change I to E. Sleek. The word is quick. Say quick. Change the I to A. Quake. Good. Excellent. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to hear words that actually are two sounds that I'm going to add the beginning sound. So if this word was at, say at, now add b at the beginning, b, at. This word is ox, say ox, add b, box. This is on, say on, add g, gone. Now let's add a sound. The first word is going to have three sounds and we are going to add the beginning fourth sound. It's gonna be a little tricky. This word is pot, say pot, add Ot. What's the word? Spot. This word is rip. Say rip. Now add g. Grip. Good job. This word is wrap. Say wrap. Now add t. Trap. This word is lap. Say lap, add flap. Excellent work. That was pretty hard to hear all of those sounds in that word. Now it's time to draw our attention back to the air sound and all of the spelling patterns that we will see. You will look at A-I-R saying air, E-A-R saying air, a-R-E saying air. So it is so important that we underline those spelling patterns when we see them in words. So let's go ahead, take our time and read one spelling pattern at a time. When I see it, I'm gonna underline it. When you're working in your packets this week, absolutely take your time and underline that spelling pattern when you see it because it's three letters this week. It's three letters and it's also making kind of a unique sound. So first I'm on the hunt for this A-I-R. When you find A-I-R, will you put your hands up in the air and say, air, ready? Air, thank you. So let's sound this out. Sound, ch, sound, air, ready, blend, ch. Air, the word is chair. In this word, when you see the three letters, go ahead, hands up, air. I see them too. Good, ready, sound, s, sound, t, sound, air, ready, blend, stare, excellent. Ready, tell me when you see it. I heard you. Air, sound, sound, air, blend it. Hair, let's read these words. We have chair, stare, hair. A little faster, ready, read. Chair, stare, hair. Let's move on, we're gonna look for 
E A R. If we see E A R, will you do your air up in the air for me? E A R. Air sound. B sound. Air blend. Bear. What's the word? Bear. Good job. Find that E A R. Air. Ready sound. Sound, air, blend, pear. What's this word? Pear. Ready, read? Bear. Pear. And the last one, A R E. If I see this E, my brain's going to tell me it's probably at the end of the word. So let's reveal. We have A R E. When you see it, air. Thank you. Okay, let's say sound, shh, sound, air, blend, share. What's the word? Share. Put your hands up in the air when you see it. Oh, this is a little hard. There's this U because we've got our Q U, which is going to make one sound as we know, but you found it. Air, ready, sound. Sound, qu, sound, air, blend it, squ, air, together, square, what's the word? Square. Let's read. All of these words rhyme because remember, rhyming is that the word has the same sound at the end of the word. It doesn't have to have the same spelling. And now that you guys are so smart and almost second graders, you're reading words with these complicated three letters together making one sound. And now we're going to read them soft and smooth and then we'll pick up the pace. Okay, ready, sh, air, chair, s, t, air, stare, air, hair. Uh, air, there, p, air, pear, sh, air, share, s, qu, air, square. Okay, take a deep breath. Let's read them fast. Ready, read. Chair, stare, hair, bear. Pair, share, square. Really nice reading. When you are working on your packets and your books this week, remember it's very helpful to find that spelling pattern first because with three letters, it can get a little complicated. But remember that air sound. Happy reading.